हे गाइस इन दिस लेसन वी विल टॉक अबाउट म्यूटेशन थ्योरी एंड नियो डार्विनिज्म फ्रॉम द टॉपिक इवोल्यूशन दिस इज प्रेजेंटेड बाय मी योगिता खंडेलवाल म्यूटेशन थ्योरी सो दिस थ्योरी वाज प्रपोज्ड बाय ह्यूगो डी व्राइज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट रिमेंबर इट ह्यूगो डी व्राइज प्रपोज म्यूटेशन थ्योरी ऑफ इवोल्यूशन बेस्ड ऑन एक्सपेरिमेंट्स ऑन ओइनोथेरा लेमार्केना सो ही वर्कड ऑन ओइनोथेरल नेमार्किना और वी कॉल इट एज इवनिंग प्राइम रोज एंड प्रपोज दिस थ्योरी ही द कंक्लूजन ऑफ दिस थ्योरी वॉज इवोल्यूशन इज कॉज बाय म्यूटेशन सो फ्रॉम एक्सपेरिमेंटिंग ऑन द इवनिंग प्राइम रोज ही ब्रॉड फोर्ड द आइडिया ऑफ म्यूटेशंस दैट इज लार्ज डिफरेंट अराइजिंग सडनली इन अ पॉपुलेशन दैट ही कॉल्ड इट एज अ saltation that is single step large mutation and this mutation caused speciation so he believed that it is mutation which causes evolution and thus he consider the mutation as the uh, main cause of evolution main point of mutation theory so the main features of mutation theory is mutation is raw material for evolution so that this these mutation are the variations which are the causes of evolution so this is a raw material so the if mutation occurs then the evolution does acting as a raw material it is sudden heritable variation so these variations are inheritable recurring so mutation are reoccurring so that the same mutant can appear again and again so chances of selection by nature are increased and new species is formed and this is a discontinuous process it occurs suddenly there is no continuity okay that there is no probability like we say in a uh, small variation that this will happen may happen in this probability this ratio or this will occur in this generation that generation so this totally discontinuous very process there is no certainty where, when the mutation will occur and when not and it is random and directionless so this process is directionless that is mutation occurs in every conceivable direction that is mutation be beneficial neutral or harmful so it is completely directionless useful mutations are selected by nature and lethal mutations are eliminated so useful mutations are selected and thus cause origin of new species while the harmful mutations are lethal and thus causes elimination of individuals while neutral mutations explains presence of non functional organ in individuals so uh, it is a discontinuous process and this is a uh, random directionless and this is uh, with the concept of darwin that he said uh, that variations are small in direction so it was totally opposite where it is random in directionless now drawbacks of mutation theory natural mutation are not very common Uh, so hugo freis thought that is the main cause of the evolution so it is not very common as thought by hugo de vries mutation are normally recessive so mutations occurring are recessive while characters taking part in evolution are dominant cannot explain development of mimicry so uh, he was unable to explain various concepts like coevolution interdependent evolution that is evolution of host parasite evolution of plant pollinating agent evolution of symbiont and also the mimicry oinothera nemarkin is not a normal plant but complex heterozygous plant formed with chromosomal aberrations so a uh, hugo de vries worked on evening prime rose so but he thought that those variations was because of mutation but that was not the case it was because it is it was with chromosomal aberration so 
Thus, the theory was not completely true given by Hugo de Vries. There are some points in favor also, like mutation are actually the source of variations. Uh, they can explain both retrogressive and progressive evolution and so on. So next is neo-Darwinism. So neo-Darwinism is a modified form of Darwinism along with recent search, uh, researches of various like Wisman, Mendel and etc. And it is has two key concepts that is mutation and natural selection. So uh, it has following features. First is rapid multiplication that is all organism multiplying geometrical ratio. Limited food and space, so there are limited resources, they are limited, uh, so we can say they uh, develop in arith arithmetic progression while uh, these multiplication occurs in geometrical, so these are limited. This struggle for existence, uh, which is of three types we have already deal, intraspecific, interspecific and environmental in Darwinism. Then we have genetic variations. So these are inheritable variations which occurs because of variety of reason. Here we have two concepts, mutation and second is population genetics that is given by Hardy-Weinberg law which explains uh, these genetic variations that we will deal in our next tutorial. Then we have natural selection. So if differential reproduction that is some individual produce more, some only few, so these continuous, if these are continuous for many generations, genes of the individuals which produce more offspring will become predominant in the gene pool of the population and thus natural selection occurs through differential reproduction in successive generations. Then isolation. So isolation is a segregation of population by some barriers which prevent interbreeding. So uh, the reproductive isolation between the population is due to certain barriers leads to the formation of new species. So this isolation, this uh, reproductive isolation between individuals that leads to formation of new species because of this uh, we have isolation in the species. Then there is origin of new species. So if in an isolated population of a species independently develops different types of mutation they later accumulate in its gene pool. Now, after several generations, the isolated population become genetically and reproductively different from others so as to constitute a new population. So, we have multiplication, then we have limited food supply, uh, which causes struggle for existence because of this limited resources. Then genetic variations, which are inheritable, and which occurs in, a, in the gene pool and causes the variations. Then we have natural selection. Individuals are selected on the basis of differential reproduction. Then isolation, that is segregation of population by some barriers which prevent interbreeding. And thus there is origin of new species where there is genetically and reproductive isolation. So this is the modern theory of evolution that is accepted or we can we call it as neo-darwinism so in next we will study the hardy weinberg law and more about mutations so that's all for this lesson thanks for watching